Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We are at 7 DPO today, but I am not going to start testing yet. I think I'm going to wait until the weekend is over and start testing around Monday or Tuesday for next week. Um, I'm not sure what day DPO that would put me at, but I felt like I wanted to wait a little bit longer. Plus, that'll give me the weekend to kind of restock on tests because all I have left is the cheapy strips. But I wanted to do a little update. Um, since we left off last month, I ended up getting my AF last month around 15 DPO, all the way at nighttime, almost 16 DPO. But 15 DPO is still pretty normal for me. I usually get it around 14 and 15. So that happened, that came and left, then I ovulated, and it brings us to today for 7DPO. And so today I was feeling a little bit crampy, I kind of felt like I had a headache coming on, and I have a breakout somewhere on my forehead as well. And then it just reminded me that I had not started my topical progesterone cream that I usually start after ovulation so I lost complete track this cycle and I did start that today so I'm gonna start uh, continue to do that for the rest of the cycle until like 12 DPO um, so hopefully my AF was not trying to already arrive because when I don't use progesterone cream I do tend to start spotting really early and cramping so hopefully that kind of dwindles all that down and I don't get AF until it's due around 14 or 15 DPO but I started that, so um, other updates for this month is I did finally get my insurance cards in the mail. And I was waiting for my insurance card so that I can start uh, kind of getting the ball rolling with getting an HSG procedure. So that we can see what could have went wrong with my tubes. If you're new to my channel, I had a tubal ligation after I had my daughter. My daughter is now 10 years old and I've been able to get pregnant twice in the past and this is after my tubal ligation. I got my tubes cut and burned and obviously that is supposed to prevent pregnancy but I've been able to get pregnant twice and both times did end up in losses but we are very curious and I'm sure you are as well to see what could have happened with my tubes if something healed or reopened up maybe one side is um, rehealed itself maybe one is still blocked and what are my chances of conceiving and having a full-term pregnancy actually implant into the uterus so a HSG procedure is going to help us figure that out and the doctor will be able to tell us whether it's safe for us or not to continue trying although we are not trying right now we're also not preventing and with my history I could end up get, getting pregnant any month really so that's why I still continue to test and I'm at risk for an ectopic since my tubes are supposedly tied. So um, now that I got the insurance card in hand, I'm going to, I have one doctor in mind. It's an hour and 15 minutes away, but I'm going to try to set up an appointment with them if they are accepting new patients. It's a little bit tricky out here in Maine where we're at. It's super rural, so we kind of have to drive minimum 40 minutes to even go to the nearest doctor or hospital but to find like a specialist or like a woman's doctor it's going to be a little bit more tricky and then finding one that's actually accepting new patients so I'm going to try the one that I have saved first and hopefully I'm able to get an appointment just for like a general wellness check because I am due for one of those I really haven't seen a doctor since my last miscarriage for blood work and stuff so I'm due for a wellness check anyway so I'm going to go ahead and schedule that and then just kind of ask them if maybe they can refer me to someone who does the HSG procedure or if they do it in their office as well, then maybe I can get that set up and um, I, I would like to get my blood work done too so they can check my progesterone levels and estrogen and all of that so we could kind of have an idea like in the future if I were to get pregnant again. Um, if I need prescribed progesterone or estrogen or however that works. Um, I know that doctors can prescribe like higher dose progesterone in order to keep a pregnancy and so I don't end up getting another miscarriage if that's what the problem is. And after getting the HSG test, I feel like we'll also know 
um, what happens with my tubes and if it's safe to continue um, trying or if it's safe to continue not preventing if that makes any sense because um, it could be possible that maybe a tube opened up like a really tiny pinhole and that's how I am getting pregnant but it's not enough for like a fertilized egg to go through and implant in the u into the uterus I've read stories like that before so overall I think that having those results will be beneficial for us to kind of move on and figure out what we want to do in the future so um, that is pretty much the updates I wanted to give you for now I'm 7 DPO I'm going to come back either Monday or Tuesday to start testing for this month I haven't had any pregnancy symptoms or anything just like I mentioned Today specifically, I started feeling a little crampy and the headache coming on, the breakouts on my face. So um, I don't know if AF was trying to come early or if my progesterone dropped and I was going to start spotting if I had not started the progesterone cream. We'll see what happens. Um, either way, if we see anything on Monday or Tuesday's tests, then we know that maybe that was something going on there. And if not, um, hopefully just the progesterone cream alone will delay my period coming until it's actually due. So that is some things to look forward to is my testing Monday and Tuesday, somewhere around then for next week and the results of this test. I will definitely let you know and keep you updated once I actually have an appointment and I'll share my experience with the HSG test. I'll share the results with you once we get up to that point. So I'm not sure, depending if I'm able to find a doctor quickly and if they're accepting patients and how booked they are. It's been very tricky. Like I still haven't found the kids a dentist at all around here. Um, I've even looked an hour and a half from here and everybody's just fully booked. They're not accepting new patients. Um, I tried to get them into a, um, it's like a college program here in Maine where like the students in the college will actually do a cleaning and x-rays. I tried to get them into that and they're fully booked as well. And that was like an affordable option to get their teeth cleaned at least because um, they're supposed to get those twice a year I believe every six months and I have not been able to find a dentist that will accept new patients right now so hopefully that's not my experience with a woman's healthcare doctor um, hopefully I'm able to get in quickly and be able to get that testing done quickly as well but I'll let you know through the whole process and keep you updated once I officially do have those appointments so I'm excited for that I'll see you guys either Monday or Tuesday for pregnancy testing for this month and I will keep note of any symptoms or anything else new happening from here to there and just want to enjoy the weekend with my family before I even think about testing so and then I'll get some tests too I'm going to try to get clear blue tests either the red dye or the blue dye ones we'll see and that's pretty much it that's the update I wanted to give for this cycle just wanted to kind of um, remind you guys on where we left off last month and give you what to look forward to in the future so I'll see you guys either Monday or Tuesday for some testing videos wish you guys the best of luck who are TTCing and I'll see you guys soon